Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for this video here, I'm going to be doing a pocket page, a 6x8 pocket page in my 2021 scrapbook that I'm keeping in my Felicity Jane Note to Self binder. Um, I'm only doing the page because I've had these cards and these photos tucked into the pockets for a while now and I just haven't gotten around to like sitting down and actually building the page. And so the photos that I am documenting here are two of my guy's cats. Well, actually, they're two photos of the same cat, really. Um, this is Ellie, and she absolutely loves me. And so I was able to take these photos the other, like, the previous weekend. And, yeah, I just printed them out in black and white. And then I printed them, like, a little bit bigger than 2 by 3 And that's just so that I can layer behind them when I like build up my pockets. And so the first thing that I did was I cut down some, uh, a six by eight paper from the Felicity Jane. I believe it's like the little XOXO paper pack uh, or like the mini, there was like a little mini kit that came out at the same time as the Millie kit. And it had, the, the paper pack had this paper that has love, love, love on it and so in black and white and so I trimmed it down to roughly six but four by six to fit in that pocket and now I'm just fussy cutting the love in that same font um, from one of the journaling cards from the Millie kit. So I am using a mixture of the Felicity Jane kits, the Millie kit, and then the little like mini kit that came out around the same time as Millie. And so for the two three by four cards, one is from the journaling card pack, and it says I love. Uh, it says love you, love you, love you, love you in black and white. And the other one is a card. I believe it's a card or like a piece of paper that's pink on pink. And right now I'm just trying to figure out what paper or like what pattern or color or whatever that I should mat my photos on that would look good with what I have there and so I've decided to use one of the plain card stocks in like that lighter pink color to mat the photo that goes on the 4x6 card and I believe I also kind of layer up some white tissue paper like some really crinkly white tissue paper behind that photo the reason why I like printing my photos really small for my little pocket pages is so that I can layer up like this. I can like make them, I kind of think of pocket pages as like little, like little layouts. Like each pocket is like its own little layout, but when you put all of the little layouts together, they create like a bigger layout, if that makes sense. And so, yeah, so that's what I did here. I just kind of cut a piece of the tissue paper and I'm putting it behind the photo. And now I'm pulling out some of the embellishments just to figure out which ones I want to use and and like how to kind of build up, I guess more so the six by the four by six pocket because right now I'm only doing this one page. Um, there's going to be something completely different in my album on the the left hand side, and so I really only have this page to work with. And so what I decided to do was to mount that love that I fussy cut it out of the card on to some foam to give it a little bit of dimension and then my idea was just to tuck something kind of behind it like either an ephemera piece or I was thinking some of the felt pieces these XOXO pieces behind it and that also adds some dimension too but I think the foam raises up the the love a little bit more so that the felt pieces are kind of a little bit more flushed on the card if that makes sense. And so I think that's what I'm going to do for that. But right now I'm, I am, I found a paper that I can mat the other photo of the cat on for the top. And now I'm just gluing everything down. So for the 3x4 card with the photo on it, I've decided to use this. It's like a it's like a sagey green tab and I think it says loved on it like or love um, so I decided to put that there it's like kind of sticking up just to give that photo card a little something I am going to keep the card that says love you love you love you completely blank it's just going to be a filler um, but that other card needed a little bit more embellishment I glued down the XOXO the little uh, felt pieces there and now you see that I'm adding the tab and I think what I end up doing is just adding a little sticker or two onto that 
card and I believe that's about it like that's literally all I do on this page I add the two little red hearts and then I think I add another pink heart at some point to that bottom of the four by six card and then yeah that's it that's that's basically the page it came out really quick really simple it's just the one page here here I have the close-up photos I will leave all the links down below to the Milly kit and the little paper pack, extra paper pack in the Felicity Jane shop. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this very quick pocket page process here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye!